the Shamrocks and the Gracies. Could tonight's battle in the middleweight division settle the score once and for all? Styles make matches, and tonight we'll witness that as Frank Shamrock takes on Henzo Gracie. Frank Shamrock, 34 years old. Henzo Gracie, five years the elder. Both fighters standing in at 5'10". A five-pound weight advantage for Frank Shamrock here tonight. It's submission fighting versus Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Here as Frank Shamrock takes on Henzo Gracie in the middleweight division in our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the DeSoto Civic Center in South Haven, Mississippi for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Elite XC and Showtime. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the Mississippi State Athletic Commission. The chairman is John Lewis, commissioners Eddie Payton and Larry Torgerson. Our physicians at cage sign Dr. Gerald Gentry and Dr. Jimmy Lewis, and our timekeeper is Jim Denning. Introducing to you our three judges, scoring from cage side, from Pittsburgh, North Carolina, Bill Clancy, from Ocean Springs, Mississippi, Keith Hughes, and from Edmond, Oklahoma, Gary Ritter. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening, an Elite XC middleweight special attraction scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, live from South Haven, Mississippi, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, standing 5 feet 10 inches, he weighed in at a ready 180 pounds. A mixed martial artist tonight in the cage representing the first family of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. His record stands at 12 wins, six losses and one draw, two knockouts and seven submissions to his credit. Fighting out of New York City by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the two-time Abu Dhabi submission wrestling champion, the two-time Brazilian national champion. Please welcome the legend of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, introducing Enzo Gracie. His opponent across the ring on my left, finding out of the red corner, also standing 5 feet 10 inches. He weighed in at 185 pounds. Truly a complete mixed martial artist, known for submission fighting and striking. He is undefeated in the past 10 years with a record of 21 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, 2 knockouts, and 13 submissions to his credit. Hailing from San Jose, California, ladies and gentlemen, here is the man recognized as the pioneer and prototype of modern MMA. Please welcome the former King of Pancrase, the former UFC middleweight world champion, introducing the one, the only, Frank Shamrock. And now introducing our referee in charge of the bout, now to give instructions, Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, we've done this before. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions at all times. Just keep this fight nice and clean. Touch gloves, come out ready to do this. Bill Goldberg, Jay Glazer, the next chapter. Shamrock versus Gracie about to be written. What a pleasure it is to be cage side to call this milestone event. History being made on premium television in North America. And Jay Henzo Gracie, when Frank Shamrock was introduced, you've spent a lot of time with him, applauded him, and just shows how classy these athletes in mixed martial arts really are. Absolutely. These two are guys also, they have so much respect for each other. Great thing about MMA, MMA guys, they'll go in there, beat the heck out of each other, and share, share a beer, beer right after the fight. Hey, guys, it is showtime, Bill. It's all about respect, gentlemen. All about respect. We've waited for Frank to make this comeback to the uh, U.S. audience, and here it is. And Henzo is uh, willing to trade with him on his feet. Look at that. True to his words that he said he would be willing to stand up. Look 
going to clinch. They get down to the ground in Enzo's territory. But let's not, let's not forget, Frank is a master on the ground also. It's just a totally different type of fight. You know, Jay, Enzo, one of the best practitioners and teachers of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, one of the first Gracies to truly incorporate striking and cross-training into his fighting style. As he does secure the takedown on Shamrock, you spent some time with him last night rolling with him. What is his mindset heading into this fight? I'll tell you what, 12-15, 12-30 last night, he was still going over submissions with his team, you know, still trying to incorporate different things. And I said, what are you going for in this fight? He said, obviously, I want to use my strikes for the takedown, get on top, and go after the head. Most Gracies like to go after the arm, the arm bar. He loves the guillotine. So he put some new setups for the guillotine in his arsenal. Bill, are you surprised that Hensel's been able to secure side mount so early on Frank Shamrock? Yeah, it was very quick, very, very quick. You know, uh, Frank's been doing a lot of work. Expect him to try to get out of this as soon as humanly possible. And conversely, expect Henzo to keep him on the ground as much as he can. You know, Randy, the natural couture in his early 40s, making a comeback to MMA. Henzo Gracie, almost 40, showing that he still has a lot left in the tank as he controls the opening minute and a half, the knee on belly position on Frank Shamrock. Gracie with a two-fight winning streak. Shamrock, of course, coming off the 21 destruct, second destruction of Cesar Gracie in the Strike Force event last year. The largest attendance of a North American mixed martial arts show and really so much at stake, so many storylines of this one, Jay. And earlier today, I was with Frank, and he said, the way my game is, I don't care if somebody mounts me, puts me inside and out. It's okay for me. I have strikes. I'll use my knees, like you're seeing right there, to hit some of these ribs. And unlike we saw with David Loazzo against Spoken Joe Villasino, you can see Frank Shamrock appears to be comfortable. Very comfortable down there. And you know, that's a lot, of, a lot of other guys, they'll get down there and they'll start panicking, and they'll start giving something up. And here it is, something endemic and unique to Elite XC, the stand-up warning in effect, where the referee, the whistle is gone, and... There they go, they're being stood up. And I wonder about that, you though, know, and, and you know what? I gotta tell you, Frank was... Frank wanted that. Yeah, but you know what? If you're a fan of Hensel Grace or Hensel Grace, he had the knee on belly position, was attempting work. Jay, what do you think of that stand-up? Yeah, it's obviously, this does not bode well for Hensel's strategy, because you want to keep somebody on the ground and break down their body and look for that transition into a submission. Well, obviously, you put a time limit on it. It hurts Hensel's game. The great of mind of promoter Gary Shaw looking to uh, bring MMA to the next level. And if I'm Shamrock, every time I get taken to the ground, Ooh, nice. I do the same thing. I'm just trying to hold on and stall and clinch, and let's get back up to our feet. Buck, the takedown came with a knee overhand right. And I got to tell you, Frank is a cardio monster. I have uh, been friends with him for quite a long time, and every single time I pick up the phone and give him a ring, he's trained. How about this guy? Nice yesterday? takedown by Gracie twice in the opening round. Very close to the full mount, too. How about this? Yesterday after yesterday, before Williams, Shamrock was 12 pounds overweight. He said, I went to the sauna for about a half hour, lost seven pounds, went upstairs, took a nap. I was fine. Your, your metabolism is so fast as an MMA fighter. It's not like when you're a high school wrestler and you're just dying to cut those seven, eight, nine pounds. It's easy for these guys. You know, Bill, Frank Shamrock stepped away from the sport in uh, 1999, did fight in Japan in 2000, came back last year. He said that he stepped away because he wanted to provide for his family. There was no money at the time of the sport. The sport was being blacklisted, if you will. And now he comes back. But do you think the time off is affecting him at all now? He'll tell you, no, that there's no way. This, this, this guy's always been in shape. There's no question about that. He's always ready to fight. I went to uh, a fight a couple years ago when he fought Pardue. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have said that he hasn't had very stiff competition as of late. And, you know, you say what you will, but uh, we're seeing the effects of it in the ring, I yeah, think. definitely destroyed by Pardue with WEC. And now the fans beginning to rally. They are definitely electrified here at the DeSoto Civic Center, South Haven, Mississippi. What has been a tremendous opening night of action for Elite XC, culminating with this historic main event. These are two grappling masters here. Just, just, just masterful. A lot of people don't like the groundwork. A lot of people don't know what's going on in MMA, but I got to tell you, this is masterful work. If they don't like the groundwork, Jay, if they don't understand it, they're going to get a good lesson here tonight with these two athletes. These are not just two guys coming off a bar stool, throwing some bombs, trying to knock each other out. This is a chess match, albeit an extremely violent one. Put your mouthpiece. Alright. Okay. 
Ele é fraco no cruz. É. Você tem que pensar o seguinte: é uma porradinha, quando ele vê, é uma porradinha, cabeça fora do ombro e clincha. Agarra ele. Clincha com o ombro, não com a mão. Não, just patient. Work him smart. Ok. He's getting the ground, you gotta get up there. Ok. Ok, you're scoring knees, you're making better than I see that. There goes the first takedown. Enzo's obviously wanting to get him on the ground as quick as possible. Frank doesn't want to be there, although he is well-versed in submissions. You know, I, I, I tell you what, watching watching these two guys on the ground is amazing. And here comes the second one. A little, uh, yeah, just, just like the first. Sweep. Leg sweep. And uh, I truly believe that Frank is uh, trying to stall on the bottom and try to get it back up to the feet. But look what he does immediately, Henzo, when he takes somebody down. He immediately transitions into a dominant position. Frank Shamrock in his corner has one of the greatest Great. kickboxers who ever lived. Maurice Smith has been with him with 11 years. They have they go, touching gloves. Henzo Gracie, you heard in Portuguese. Big dog Ricardo Almeida, as well as his brother Health. So they've got plenty of support in the corners, Bill. And they're back. Oh, and Henzo was struck there by Frank Shamrock. You know, and what's amazing, is these two guys came out like warriors. They fought, 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 and then at the beginning of the second round, they touched gloves and smiled at each other. Tremendous matchup. Unbelievable how very evenly matched these two warriors are. Again, Frank Shamrock, Hensel Gracie, two families that really put MMA on the map in the early days, and now they're here once the sport has been fully accepted, looking to definitely put on a show for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around North America. Where Hensel's great too is he he has such a great chin, he's willing to eat a punch or two, or eat a strike here, eat a strike there, in order to secure the takedown. Again, we talked about once what, what you do when you get that takedown. He's not panicking, he goes right to the position he wants to get into, a dominant position where Shamrock can't do anything. Shamrock told me earlier this morning he has the anti-jujitsu, well so far it's not working. Shamrock, of course, an emblem in Ireland for luck and everything, and so far the luck of the Irish not with Frank Shamrock Ireland right now. Is Henzo work. Gracie controlling? You see Shamrock looking, you need to work. looking to the referee, maybe wanting another one of those 15-second clocks, Bill. Yeah, he oh, wants to Henzo's get, busy. Yeah, he wants to get it up to his feet and uh, it, you know, imp impose his will, throw some uh, high kicks and and punches. He doesn't think that Henzo can stand with him, but you know it, it's been uh, evident that he can as of right now. Jay Henzo Gracie, a two-time Abu Dhabi oh, submission wrestling oh, champion. Of course, Abu Dhabi, the premier submission wrestling event in the world. Stop. And uh, Herb Dean, now what do we got going what here? here? What do we got going here? Stop, 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 Was stop. it a headbutt? Over there. No, not, not that corner, right there. We got to get a replay here and see what happened. We're definitely uh, going to get that. I did not see what transpired, but obviously, Henzo Gracie in a world of hurt here, Frank Shamrock. In a neutral corner, Jay, did you catch it? No, I didn't oh, catch it. Enzo is hurt. hurt. Enzo yeah, is hurt. Hard time standing up. Definitely don't want to see huh? controversy. Uh, no, we don't. We don't want to see this. We don't want to see this. Frank Shamrock. Okay, Frank Shamrock just pleading with the crowd that hey, it wasn't my fault. What has happened here? They are raising the arm of Frank Shamrock. Yeah, they're taking a oh, point no, away sorry. from Thank him. you. They're taking looks, the point looks away. Looks as if either, it was either, I did not see it, it was either a headbutt or a knee to the head when he was on the ground. The way that went down, I'm thinking, wait a minute, what's he doing? But he is taking the point away, and we still don't know what happened. Yeah, Henzo is uh, in some serious trouble here. It's very, very unfortunate. If a point was taken out. away, though, then that must mean it was a deliberate, was it a headbutt? No, no, he has five minutes to recover. Okay, okay Henzo, you have five See minutes to recover. See if we can get a replay. You sit there and take your time and make your decision after that. Okay. Have you started my injury clock? Just let's watch it here. There's a knee. Another knee, the back of the Looks head. Looks like it gets the back of the neck. Yeah, yeah, which shouldn't be allowed. And that's what it is. Knees to the... I, well, again, I don't know. He's... Looks like a knee to the back of the neck, which is certainly hurt. But but he's going to his face, nerve. though, guys. Look. There's a tight look. Yeah, knee to the back of the head. Well, not from that vantage point there. That one. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It just uh, that's an illegal blow in MMA. The knee to the back of the head, and uh, but he has five minutes to recover from it. They give you five minutes injury time. See if oh, you can recover uh, and see if you can continue. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to make a prediction here. Uh, oh, five man. minutes ain't going to be enough. 
And Fred Shamrock looks at us at the table and says, I thought we were fighting. He said if he wants to wrestle, he should have stayed home. Okay. I, I don't know about that, Jay. That's a little bit of trash talking Fred Shamrock is known for, trying to put his spin on it. But I'm not going to give him the fight now. But if he doesn't, then he has his I'm not finding anything physical right now. I don't know whether or not. You know, but it's hard to tell in the ring. Let's give him a couple of Okay. So, okay. we do have five minutes to recover. I got to tell you what. Two and a half minutes in. Frank Shamrock, a coach in the IFL. I got to tell you what. So, Gracie, a coach in the IFL. We didn't want to see this end this way. Hopefully, it won't, but right now, I don't see Hanzo Gracie getting back on his feet. Hanzo Gracie got his elbow broken by Sakuraba out there in, in Japan. Refused to tap. And, and refused to tap. If there's, you're right, if there's any way, shape, or form that he's going to be able to continue, you know he is. So, there's booze and everything else, whether they're for Fred Shamrock or not. Hanzo Gracie will there's not no give up. There's no place in booze. There's no place for booze, and, you know. <laughs> that's very disrespectful. Well, no, if, yes. if it is a situation where you where, where he quit, you can boo. I just it's not in Hanzo's nature. No, yeah, we him. all know Hanzo. He would never it just do that. Doesn't seem like would make Saka Raba blows his arm out and he waits eight and he wants to wait 18 seconds to get it popped in and come back out. He, he no, something's definitely he wrong. With he this complained guy. about that stoppage. Exactly. That guy is a man right there and a man if I've ever seen one. You know, what might have happened he got stung from that shot behind the head. He's, his head is not clear. And I tell you what, you want to be 100% if you're going against Frank Shamrock. Absolutely. They are going to allow Hensel Gracie now to sit on his stool. Wow, anything can happen in a fight. It was a great start to a highly anticipated bout, but this is not what we wanted or expected. Frank Shamrock on his feet, loosening up. Less than a minute now remaining. So the question is, what happens once five minutes expires? Here in Elite XC. No, they're putting they're putting a neck brace on him right now. I, I think this fight is over, guys. I hate to say it. Yeah, it's like getting hit in the back of the head with a baseball bat. Here's another look, guys. On the way out. I was gonna say. Yeah, there was the first one. And this one was the real bad that one. That was the one. On the neck. Yeah. Now, both you guys, again, been around professional athletes. You've been a professional athlete, Bill, all your life. What What do you think is, is the, is it, I mean, is a stinger, what, what's the cause there? What's the damage? That there? ain't no stinger, partner. That is, uh, like I said, like getting hit in the back of the head by a uh, baseball bat. Like, you know, like Jay said, Henzo is one of the toughest guys on the planet. He's shown that day in and day out. And uh, ever since the onset of his career, and, you know, if he, if, if he doesn't have serious damage, then he ain't going to, he ain't going to quit. And he was clearly dominating this fight as well. He had the position he wanted the entire time uh, he was taking the fight to Shamrock we have a notion of humanity in the cage right now Maury Smith pleading wondering you know what what can be done because I don't think they okay here's a question for you and again it's not even fair of us to speculate were those deeds to the back of the head weren't done on purpose and his vantage point he couldn't see could he where it was striking I mean he's trying to escape yeah I, no it's not you're not intentionally trying to give a, a blow that's illegal no you're just using those knees to try and get some damage remember earlier we said that he will get damage wherever, wherever, whichever way he can everyone on their feet here and applauding Hensel Gracie, who is being helped to the back area. One of the 